Okay, so here we are back at the math lab with a problem that we encountered when we were out at Laptops R Us. Honestly, we were out at Laptops R Us, believe me, okay? Um, so, Mr. Jameson buys a laptop and a 20% off sale. The sale price is £200. And I was trying to work out the original price of the laptop, right? And all I did was, I took 20% of 200 and I needed it back on, but that didn't work out. So how do we actually tackle a problem like this? So the problem will say, what is the original price? Now, this is generally called backwards percentages. It's got other names like inverse percentage and also reversing the change, okay? But usually the question will say, find the original price, all right? So the question will be something like this in a little bit of context, so in a wee story, all right? So how do we do this? Well... We have to think, first of all, how much as a percentage of the original price is 200? Because if we take the original price and we take off 20%, then that means that we're left with 80%, okay? And that's the 200 pounds. So if we start at that point then, we say that 80% of our original price is going to be £200. So if we start at that point and we say 80% of the original price is £200, right? And that makes sense because if we take 100% and then we take 20% off of that, we're left with 80% and that's 200 okay? So the way that we do this is we need to work from 80% back up to 100 again. The best way to do it is to figure out what 1% is first of all, okay? So that's our first step, okay? We want to figure out 1%. So if we've got 80% already, we figure out 1% by just dividing by 80, okay? So we take our 200, and we divide that by 80, so we get that 1% then is equal to £2.50, okay? So if we do 200 divided by 80, we get 2.5, remember it's money, so it's £2.50, alright? So what we've done so far is we've figured out that the sale price is 80% of the original price because we took 20% off, so that makes sense. And then the strategy we're going to use is we're going to work out 1% first, okay? So whatever percentage you start with, you work out 1% first of all. And we just do that by dividing. So whatever percent we've got, we've got 80%. We want to work out 1%, we just divide by 80, okay? So that's nice and simple so far. So we've got 1%. How do we make that up to 100 then? Again, nice and simple, all we do is we times by 100. So... 100% then is equal to £2.50 times 100 and that gives us £250. Now, if we think back to when we were in laptops or others, remember, the original price was £250 so we know that's correct. So let's go through the calculation one more time and then we'll write it in a little sentence at the end, okay? So, 80% of the original price is £200, right? I've mentioned a couple of times how we do that in the video so far already, so rewind me if you're not sure. To get 1%, which is a strategy we always use, we go for 1% first of all, we just divide by 80 or whatever percentage that we have. If you've got 70%, you divide by 70 and so on. So we work that out, that's £2.50, and then we just times that by 100 to get 100%. So we back up to 100% by doing £2.50 times 100, which gives us £250. So if we write that out in a sentence, again, to show that we've understood, we would say something like, the original price of the laptop was £250. So remember, we're doing that to show that we've understood the question because it's been given to us in a little story. So you've got to show that you understand it at the end by communicating your answer in a little story as well. Okay, so it's not enough just to put £250 and leave it. You have to write down and show that you've understood. Okay, so again, make sure you rewind and go through everything again. Copy that all into your notes. This is something that's quite hard to get your head around, okay? So what I want you to do as well is after you finish watching this video, there's a form at the bottom underneath. So if you scroll down, there's a form as well as the quiz. The quiz over there, you've got to do the quiz. And then you also got to do this form at the bottom. So scroll down after you finish this video and do the form. And the question for the form is this, okay? Why is the laptop not £240 to begin with? So why is it not £240? You need to explain to me why that's wrong. Okay, so I want you to have a think about why it's not just 
taking 20% of 200 and adding it back on again. Okay, we've got to try and think about that. Okay, so why is it not just 20% of 200 added back on to give us 240? Why do I get £250 is the answer. Okay, so you've got to think about why that is and why that's a mistake because that's a really common mistake and I want you to try and think through why people would make that mistake. Okay, and just put your answers, just type your answer in. Um, don't worry about spelling and things like that. Okay, type your answer in the form down there and do the quiz over there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I've tried to kind of ramp it up a wee bit, a little bit of acting and so on. Okay, so uh, thanks very much for watching.